What's up everybody? My name is Scott Paddock and today we are going to talk about how to subtone on the saxophone. <laughs> Subtones are airy, soft, fuzzy, sexy sounding low notes on the saxophone. They sound like this. <laughs> as opposed to full tone notes that sound like this. Why do we use subtones? It's to get a subtle, more expressive sound on the saxophone. It just adds like more dimension and more emotion to your saxophone playing, especially when you're playing a ballad or something slow and you want it to kind of have like that airy feel to it. All right, so how do we turn our low notes from super powerful, full focus sounding low notes into soft and fuzzy, sexy sounding low notes? It's actually pretty easy. There's only four steps. The first step is the most drastic and it's something that we rarely do when we're playing the saxophone. And that's we're gonna change our embouchure up a little bit. Normally, when we're playing low notes, our embouchure is just completely normal. We're not, we don't change it that much. We change our tongue position into the ah position so we get those notes out easier, but we don't really change our chin or our embouchure much. But when we go for a subtone, the very first thing we need to do is pull our chin down and back. So it'll look like this. I know, it looks strange, but from normal to down and back. So when I play, I'll do a normal one and I'll turn it into a subtone. When I go to play that subtone low B, you can see that I'm moving my chin down and back. And what that does is it causes me to take in less mouthpiece and reed. And because less reed is vibrating, my sound is automatically gonna be a little bit smaller. I call this position the foo-foo position because that's what subtones sound like. So step one is pull your chin down and back. Step two is pretty easy. Step two is just slow down your air a little bit. We don't want a big fat focus sound, so we need to slow that air down. The, the faster your air is moving, the bigger your sound is gonna be, so the slower uh, it's moving, the, the softer it's gonna be. Um, and we don't want like a super big focus sound, so we want that, that tone spread out. Now, if I did the same thing, even with my chin back, if I played full volume, it's gonna be way louder and it's not gonna sound subtone. It just kinda sounds a little weird. So, we wanna slow that air down and get your chin down and back. You just want to think of that air moving really slow, but, but in a steady stream, but really slow into your mouthpiece. Okay, so step number three is slow your vibrato down. We want the vibrato in a subtone to sound like an actual slow spinning part of the note. So it'll sound like this. <laughs> So it's a little bit more deliberate than a normal vibrato. A normal vibrato would sound like this. When we put the uh, subtone vibrato, uh, we have almost like a little bit of an articulation in it. Now that you know how to get the subtone sound, our final step is don't use your tongue. We want to do everything with our air, uh, which is not the case normally. We always want to start notes with our tongue. But in subtones, you want to start the note with your air, and you want your tonguing or articulation to be with your air. Now, your tongue might move around a little bit in your mouth, but it's really not going to hit the reed that much because you'll be taking in so much less mouthpiece. So your uh, air will start the note. You hear that note starts do as opposed to if we were starting it normally. We want that air to just kind of just gradually speed up enough that you get the tone. Now, again, we don't even really use our tongue to articulate the notes or tongue in between the notes. We're gonna do it with our air, like a little tiny uh, burst of air is gonna give you your articulation. Do you hear I'm just kinda like leaning into that note with a little bit extra air? 
I'm not using my tongue at all. If I were to use my tongue, it would completely break up that phrase. And it just kind of sounds a little weird and funny. So we want to make sure that our, our, all of our articulations are done with our air when we're doing subtones. Okay, so what are the range of subtones? In other words, what notes can you actually do subtones on? Uh, a good way to think of it is right hand low notes. You can kind of get all the way up into the A, but your right hand low notes from your F down to your B flat are what are going to sound the best. They're going to sound the most subtone. So you're going to have. Even that F sharp. You can get almost all the way up to an A and still have a little bit of a subtone feel, but as you get higher up, your tongue needs to go up a little bit higher so that your notes don't sound flat. And the G's and the A's uh, are still subtone-ish, but they're not full-on subtones. Here's what it sounds like. I'll start on an on a, on a E and go up subtones to A. You got that, chain, that tone changes when I hit that G? So pretty much from low F down to low B flat is where your subtones are. Okay, so we do have a couple disclaimers when it comes to subtones. If you have a hard read, you will not be able to subtone. Uh, the softer read, the easier it's gonna be. And if you have leaks in your saxophone, subtones are gonna be really tough because you're trying to move that air really slow uh, for your low notes, which is the opposite of what we usually do to get our low notes to come out big and fat and clear. So you need a softer read, or at least like your regular read, not a brand new read or a read that is a little bit harder than you play, and no leaks. Okay, so let's do a recap. To get your subtones to sound soft and fuzzy, the first step is move your chin back and down, which will cause you to take in less mouthpiece and read, which is gonna soften your tone. Second step is slow your air down. We want it to be a steady airstream, but a slow and steady airstream. Step number three, slow down your vibrato, but do it really deliberate so it's a part of the actual note. And step number four, keep your tongue out of the way. Your tongue is not going to help you at all when it comes down to subtones. Thanks for taking the time to check out this video. If you found it useful, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and share it with your friends. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me with a comment. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, please hit me with a comment. Thanks again for taking the time to check out this video. Thank <laughs> you.